Atkins diet, Paleo diet, Weight Watchers, Jenny Craig diet, Mediterranean diet, the list goes on and on, but I bet you haven't heard of the potato only diet. It's recent, recently been making headlines and one man in Melbourne, Australia has decided to stick to this diet for an entire year, but is it safe? We actually have Andrew joining us via Skype all the way from Australia. We also have Dr. John McDougall joining us on the phone, who is a physician and a believer in this diet. He's also the author of The Starch Solution. So first things first, Andrew, how long have you been on this potato-only diet and how's it been going for you? Today is the, day, the start of day 43 and everything's going fantastically well, much better than expected so far. How's your energy level? I feel fantastic. I've got abundant energy so much that I had to start uh, exercising again uh, about a week ago, which is pretty good. And how many pounds have you lost? Uh, I'm not sure in pounds, it's 16 kilos. We work in oh, kilos over wow. here, so that's probably, I don't know, 30 plus pounds. So yeah. Andrew, tell us a little more about the diet. I just make mashed potatoes or boiled potatoes or baked potatoes. I make everything without oil and uh, or anything fatty added at all. And, uh, and I have some a small amount, minimal amount of herbs and spices and sauces like tomato and barbecue and chili sauce and things like that. But it's pretty boring, really, and I'm doing that on purpose. And I do want to bring into the conversation Dr. McDougall because, Dr. McDougall, when I think of potatoes, I do think of them as life-sustaining in, in some of these famines we've talked about. But you actually believe that this is, this is a great thing to just eat potatoes, or is your perspective more so that if you go this route, you'll be just fine? If you go this route, you'll be just fine. But my main focus and what I really like to get across to people is that human beings are starch eaters. Uh, but think about various diets around the world. Uh, in the Far East, people that live on rice are used to 90% of their diet was rice. In uh, Central America, the Aztecs and the Mayans were known as the people of the corn. In uh, South uh, America, the Incas. Uh, and the other people there, they uh, eat basically potatoes. We can't deny the fact that potatoes don't have all the nutrients that you right, need to, to live a healthy existence, correct? They, that's incorrect. They have, you can live on all potato diets alone. There was an experiment done uh, and published in the Biochemical Journal in 1928 where they took a man and a woman. They were both athletes and uh, they put them on an all potato diet for six months. And they said that they had no desire for change. They enjoyed the diet. And when they analyzed them physically, they found them to be in excellent health on an all-potato diet. Well, Dr. McDougall, we do have to, to move on. I want to thank you for lending your opinion on this matter. And there's a lot of truth to what Dr. McDougall is saying. There is a diet out there that is extreme in every measure. There's, there's the meat-only diet, the potato-only diet, the vegetable-only diet, diet. and everyone who does diet. that diet, including Andrew, sounds like you're on this, this train right now, they claim that that is the best diet. Well, I'm gonna say I will forever believe this. I think the best diet is the one that, number one, works for you, but variety is the spice of life. So what is, I, to me, it has more to do with why just eat potatoes if you can enjoy all the other wonderful foods in the world? And so to me, Andrew, I say if this is what you want to do and you're being monitored and you're healthy, I go for it. You know, you be you. And I applaud you for taking your health into your own hands. I really do. Uh, but for people watching, I've said this before, we've had people on the show, banana only diet. I mean, I like it's just and to me, that's where things get confusing because it's like, well, banana, uh, what do I do? No, just here's the deal. If you eat a well-balanced diet of natural foods right. that grow from the earth, you're gonna do just fine. Andrew, we do yeah. wish you the yeah. best of luck. Thank you so much for sharing with us. Yeah. And you know what? This debate will never end. No, no, no. And there's always gonna be one group that says it's all about this food group, this is the way to do it. No, this is the way to do it. And it well, it's but really it, person specific too. I mean, if I ate potatoes all day, I would look like a potato. At the end of the day, everyone has to figure out what works for them. Yep. If you are struggling with your current diet, you know, it's okay as long as you're doing it in a healthy way and in conjunction with your doctor. It's okay to try something new and get outside yeah. of your comfort zone, figure out what may work for you. If this works for Andrew, kudos to him. We'll be right back. Yeah.